Hi guys! Welcome to my channel again. Sa video na to, pag-uusapan naman natin ang variables and data. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Variable is a certain quality or quantity na involved dun sa study. Ito yung pinag-aaralan mo sa research mo. Its value is not fixed, kaya nga variable eh. From the word vary, pwedeng maiba-iba. Per situation, yung value ng variable na to ay pwedeng maiba. Ito yung ino-observe or ine-experiment sa isang study. Kaya nga, tulad sa nabanggit ko kanina, either quality or quantity. In a certain research, a variable can either be an independent variable. Pag sinabi natin independent variable, this variable can stand alone. Hindi siya nagre-rely sa ibang variable para makuha natin yung value niya. Or, we have dependent variable. Ang dependent variable naman, nagre-rely ito sa independent variable. Usually sa isang research, kapag nagkakaroon ng experimentation or observation, kapag nagbago yung independent variable, nagbabago din yung value ng dependent variable. So, there are researches na ang setup, ang independent variable yung nagiging cause of change. Tapos, yung change naman sa dependent variable, yun yung nagiging effect. Madalas, ito yung setup sa iba't ibang researches. Naging tatandaan, yung change na naging epekto sa dependent variable, it is caused by the change of an independent variable. Dito, sa iba't ibang situation na to, i-identify natin kung ano yung independent at dependent variable. Si campaign manager gusto niyang ma-analyze yung effect ng TV ads sa promotion ng kanyang presidential candidate. So, tandaan natin, gustong malaman ni manager yung effect. Paano nakaka-apekto itong TV ads sa promotion? Yung TV ads yung nakaka-apekto sa promotion. Kaya, safe to say, na ang independent natin ay yung TV ads, tapos yung dependent natin yung promotion ng kanyang candidate. Number two naman, si teacher gusto niyang malaman kung paano yung flipped classroom strategy, paano yung nakaka-affect sa academic performance ng kanyang estudyante. Pause this video, and after 5 seconds, tingnan natin ano ang dependent at independent variable. Tandaan natin, ang gustong malaman ni teacher, Paano itong flip classroom strategy na to, paano siya nakaka-affect sa academic performance? So meaning, ang independent variable mo is using the flip classroom strategy. Tapos yung dependent, yun namang student's academic performance for the first quarter. And finally, for number three, Si manager XYZ gusto niyang malaman yung relationship ng age at buying preferences ng kanyang 1,000 customers. Again, alamin mo kung ano ang independent at dependent variable sa situation na ito. Gusto daw ni manager na malaman how does age affect the buying preferences. Paano yan nakaka-apekto dito? So, obviously, our independent variable is the customer's age at yung ating dependent variable, yun namang customer's buying preferences. Data, ito naman yung collected information per variable. Once na nag-start na yung experimentation or yung observation or yung survey ng isang researcher, nagko-collect na siya ng data based dun sa variable na kailangan niya sa study. Researchers use different statistical tools para ma-analyze yung data at magkaroon ng meaning out of that data. This data can either be primary data. Pag sinabi natin primary data, yung researcher mismo yung nakakuha ng data na yon. Either through survey, through observation, interview, or other methods na nag-permit kay researcher na makuha yung data niya ng first hand. Siya mismo yung naka-experience, naka-witness, or naka-collect ng no mismong data na kailangan niya. On the other hand, meron din tayong tinatawag na secondary data. 
Ang ibig sabihin naman ng secondary data, ito yung mga data na nabasa ni researcher sa iba't ibang published or unpublished sources. Itong published, ito yung mga books, journals, newspaper, magazines, and other published materials. Yung tinatawag naman natin na unpublished sources, ito yung mga thesis or dissertation na pwede rin gamitin ni researcher as basis para sa kanyang recent study. So basically, yan yung difference nung dalawa. So that's it for variables and data. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.